Hey there, everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group, and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's Ask an Old Mog video, where we take a look at uh, stuff in the game, try and learn a little bit about how to play the game um, by doing like kind of like question and answers in a visual format kind of a thing. Um, and I'm excited this week to talk about a question that I found in the Facebook group that I think is a relevant one because it relates to a banner that's going on right now, and it relates to an event that's going on right now. Um, in particular, one where those two things kind of collide. Um, and so I think it's useful to talk about it. Um, before we go any further, though, let's get into it. So here's the question that kind of came up, um, and I'm paraphrasing, um, but uh, here, here it is. Is the Fravia Premium Vision Card good? Okay, so if you're not familiar, you can get this Vision Card um, on the, you know, Beach Blaster Olive, you know, vision card step up summon it costs you about um uh, that part costs you about 28k lapis to get the vision card um and uh you know it's 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 what it is so let's take a look at what the stats are on the vision card before i get into it um i happen to have mine equipped to sky it is 115 attack and magic it also gives you 50 percent attack and magic to your stats it gives you 100% bird killer, which is very relevant to the current Clash of Wills because it's a, a, a part bird enemy, as well as 100% machine killer, which is pretty cool. Um, and then uh, it also gives to Final Fantasy Brave XVS units this, <coughs> excuse me, this uh, automatic, automatic, automatically casted ability at the start of battle, Blade Work Sharp as Ice. Um, and it boosts the damage of um, morale based limit bursts by 50 times 50x right 50x modifier increase um, to any kind of a limit burst that uh, that does morale based damage and it lasts for a total of five turns so if you're going to be uh, doing clash of wills you probably know why that matters um, but here we go so is the card good to me it depends heavily on what type of units you have what kind of content you enjoy playing in and what your goal in that content is. We've already looked at the stats, so I'm already going off script, but that's okay. So why, why is this important? Um, we have talked about before in other videos that modifiers are just a really, really important part of the damage formula. Um, everything from you know killer boosts, LB damage boosts, imperils, elemental amps, racial type boosts, jump damage, evocation damage, and more have become important ways to boost your damage that are just better at boosting your damage, sim uh, better than simply having high stats. What I mean by that is, if you have the opportunity to add, let's say, a 50% human killer to your party, or to a, to a unit, or 50% just attack, the 50% boost to your human killer damage is going to outweigh the 50% the to your attack hugely like you're just going to do more damage just by 50 percent uh, of the human killer and it's because it's a modifier rather than an additive to your stats um and so it's it's or sorry it's a multiplier rather than an additive so um it's a it's a big boost and so you know all of these modifiers are just very very important so then the question becomes why is this card useful well the, the newest big way in FFBE to boost your damage um, has all revolved around simply increasing the damage modifier of, of your skills limit burst. And um, lots of or every skill has a modifier. So like a, a skill might do like 1x damage or 200x damage uh, or something like that. And finding ways to increase that modifier, that number from like, say, 200 to 250 is the newest way to increase your damage. Um, and the vision card does this specifically for morale based limit bursts in Clash of Wills for five turns. And that bothers some players, but for the most part, every Clash of Wills lately, except for the, the, the anniversary one, um, you do your big burst on turn five. So like if you're doing a high score run, the fact that this card wears off, this effect wears off after five turns doesn't really matter because you do your big damage burst on turn five um, and then you just kind of finish it at your leisure for the most part. Um, and so uh, I think that's not that big a deal. I think that that is not a problem that only lasts five turns. Um, I think it's a pretty strong card. Um, I used it in my Clash of Wills run that I'm gonna start recording here in just a minute just to kind of show people how I did it um, on Sky. Um, and it's it was pretty useful. I found it. I found her doing pretty good damage with it. Um, I would say some sometimes better than just having 500 flat stats or 500 uh, or, or you know, 200 
uh, true double hand attacker magic or something like that. It's just it's a it's a nice way to increase your damage if you've already got other things already capped. So this is just kind of a neat way to kind of squeeze in more damage. And for Clash of Wills, that matters because you have to kind of stack everything together to do that that damage cap. Um, but let's talk about another couple of examples of modifiers and, and like the the big ways that some units can do that. Um, I want to talk about Paladin Sylvie, and and th this is not necessarily intended to be like a Paladin Sylvie video, um, but she can do so much for you all in one unit uh, when it comes to modifiers. So if you go to her shift form where most of her damage stuff lives, um, you've got a couple different things. If you go to Bolt Egg Basket, for example, she adds uh, an Imperil, which is an, which is a modifier, right? She adds an Amp, which is another modifier right which is pretty cool and she boosts your uh, resistance but that's that's about t taking less damage so we're not worried about that right this moment but uh, we've got imperils and amplifiers right that amplifier is 45 percent on her base skill but if you use her big skill the blessings those go all the way up to 100 percent modifier for amplifies really really big and she has killers so all in one turn she could do an imbue an amplify and a killer which is three big, huge modifiers for your party. But that's not all. Um, when she uses her shifted limit burst, Leaping Love, it also increases the, the damage modifier. It adds damage 20x for three turns to your limit burst, right? It does even more if you happen to be in Clash of Wills because it does it based on morale scaling and stuff like that. So if, you, if they're using morale scaling LBs, they get even more damage and the modifier just stacks up and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But we're still not done. If she happens to be in the party with Stormseeker Esther, then it triggers one of Esther's abilities, right? Um, Magnetic Force, which boosts the damage of her limit burst by 100. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over, still getting over coffin. Um, uh, it boosts the damage modifier by 100x. It's just huge, right? And it does even more if it happens to be in Clash of Wills. So uh, that's really, really rad. Um, and so, so Sylvie has become a really, really easy way to increase the damage of your party dramatically, and all of this stacks together. Um, you know, some units also have abilities. I'm gonna go back to Esther actually. That does just like flat, just give bonus damage to their abilities just from you using them. Her Magnus, Calm Before the Storm, for example, um, it boosts the damage um, by this amount. You know, 100 or 17,500 bonus damage, which is 175x. So uh, really, really solid, right? So it just it just boosts, you know, and all this stacks together, and that's how you see people who are making these videos. Um, for Clash of Wills and stuff, get these big, big scores for damage because they're stacking it all together. So if you're really curious about where the damage comes from and you want to learn more about how to do this on your own and understand it, uh, I'm going to recommend you go right here to this link, which is the mechanics page on the wiki, which is one of my favorite places in the entire wiki to learn more about how to do more damage because you can learn how stuff stacks and where the formula comes from um, and all of that. Okay, so definitely check that out if you're interested in doing more damage. So that said, uh, is the card good? Um, for me, as somebody who plays Clash of Wills and wants to do well in Clash of Wills and wants to do damage, um, yeah, the card's good. And so that's why I went for it. I got the card, um, then I continued on to get Olive because I really wanted Olive for her uh, STMR and TMR, um, and I, I think it was a good investment. Um, and so I did. There you go. Um, but your mileage may vary depending on how you're playing the game and what you're doing. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind, um, and um, if, if you decide you're going to go for it, then you know best of luck to you in getting all of on the way too. Um, but uh, I, I do think it's good for players who want to do well in Clash of Wills. So that's all I have for that portion of this video. But I want to take just a second, okay? I want to take just a second and put this funny hat on my head, and it doesn't have a string on it, so it might fall off my head, okay? Um, but watch this. This is episode 52 of this series, and I want you to recognize that I put out these videos on a weekly basis. That means this is the last episode to come out in the first year of me making content for this group, and that has grown into me making other kinds of content and videos on YouTube as well. Um, and through the year, this channel has grown to have, at the time of this video's recording, uh, 518 followers um, and getting really close to 4,000 public watch hours. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I'm just this dude who lives in a house 
who like makes these weird videos in his basement and like thinks about the game and talks about the game and wants to help players play the game. And like, this is like really grown and I'm really excited by that. So if you have ever watched a video or liked a video or subscribed on YouTube or come out and watched on Twitch or, or done any of that, that is kind of helping, you know, people in the fan base, you know, find these videos and get involved and get been a part of the conversation. Like, I just want to say thank you because this has gone better than I could have ever imagined it would go. And I'm really, really excited for what's going to come in the next year, uh, which, you know, starts next Friday when it comes to these videos, which is really cool. Um, you know, one thing that happens when you get to 500 subscribers on YouTube is that you get access to the community tools. There goes my hat. Um, and uh, there's a lot of fun things that I have planned for, you know, the community tools. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, keep sharing the videos. Keep watching the videos. I really appreciate it because it keeps me motivated and excited to do this. Um, can't do it without you. So for, for sure, I really thank you guys for being a part of my first year of, you know, creating content for, uh, for FFBE and uh, doing something that I never thought I'd be able to do. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm going to stop gushing over everybody right now and uh, just kind of wrap up this video. So if you've got a question or some feedback or a topic that you want to see in next week or next year's video, holy cow, um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me about what I got wrong in this video. If you've got a different opinion than I do, you know, I want to hear about it. We can definitely have a discussion. One of my favorite interactions that I had with somebody on one of these videos was where like somebody said that I didn't explain something clear enough and then they explained it better than I did. So by all means, come in and tell me how I got it wrong or, or could be clearer. Um, I want to hear all about it. But until then, we'll see you in the next video and in the game. Be good to each other. Take care of each other. Be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And uh, yeah, it's Friday. Go get some rest. Take care.